one. Today I've got the Forever Purge movie review. They say nothing lasts forever. Then why does it feel like this franchise will never end? So as far as the story goes, another year, another Purge movie to try and sit through because let's face it, the last one they made it should have been the final Purge movie to ever exist. And I honestly don't even remember what happened in that movie. So what makes anybody think I would remember what happens here? But boy, there was a lot going on in this movie. And I would hope that like they're doing with the Paranormal Activity franchise by rebooting that, they won't attempt to do the same thing here because this movie hit the final nail in the coffin with this concept of the Purge Night starting and ending like, you know, it does every year in good old US of A until a group of rogue purgers want to continue the bloodbath forever. I swear I couldn't, I couldn't get that line from the Sandlot out of my head while watching this movie. And I also couldn't help but roll my eyes with how dumb this movie ended up being. And honestly, I haven't been a fan of, you know, any of the previous Purge movies in general, except maybe the first one. Like, that was probably my favorite out of all of them. So, of course, I wasn't going in this movie excited to see it, and the story seems to focus more on this socioeconomic disparity between white Americans and Hispanics, and it brought up more commentary about rich versus poor in society, and I just feel like that plot point has been used to death in this franchise. And I feel like people will see this movie and, you know, not want to feel like there's this political message that they're just trying to tell you and you can just go in here with, you know, like who cares? Like it's just a, a movie that you can just, you know, blindly watch and uh, maybe even fall asleep to. And instead of trying to see what they're, tr what the filmmakers are trying to convey to their audience. Now, as far as the casting goes, I noticed a few actors here in this movie, but I feel like they weren't given that much to do. And the characters themselves felt very one-sided and uninteresting to me. So. I didn't really care, you know, whether or not they were going to come out of this purge thing alive. But obviously they definitely needed a hero in this story and I just, you know, didn't really see it that much. And I honestly didn't see that many antagonists either. So the things that I liked about this movie, not a damn thing. So this is a bad love review contender because The Forever Purge is the dumbest movie of 2021 so far. The content just gets more ridiculous and it is an unnecessary addition to the franchise. I feel like it proves that it just needs to end after this because I, I feel like they're running out of ideas of things to really talk about so then they start to go with these topics that really hit home for some people and it just, they're trying to make this unrealistic movie more realistic when it's just impossible to get into at this point. So the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that, one, I was bored out of my mind watching this movie. I probably started to get really uninterested 12 minutes in. I mean, I know it's crazy. It's like the movie had just started and already I wanted to turn it off, but I wanted to see what was going to happen. And it didn't seem like a lot was happening as far as, you know, the violence goes like they had in the previous Purge movies. I feel like, yeah, they showed some things, but instead they seem to focus more on this message about trouble at the border and how the Purge is helping to, you know, take care of that or have uh, things be even more divisive. And it just aggravated me how it didn't seem to have this clear direction of where the movie wanted to go. And I think it should have been left on the cutting room floor and stopped on. 
I honestly was not scared watching this movie. I wouldn't say that I was terrified watching any of the other Purge movies, but at least it gave us something to really be creeped out about. But now it was just all cringeworthy. It felt predictable at times, and there never seemed to be this like, like wow factor that, you know, normally gets me to enjoy watching a movie like this, but I don't honestly feel like anybody would really get any enjoyment out of watching this movie and the execution, no pun intended, felt very basic. So overall, I would say that I was just not impressed with this movie. I don't know anybody who's already seen this. Uh, I know somebody who already has this as one of their worst movies of the year, so I definitely would agree that this would be up there on my list of worst movies of 2021. So I would not recommend seeing this movie whatsoever. It just was a complete waste of my time. So I would give this zero hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Forever Purge. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.